everyone, welcome to my latest video uh, where I'm going to show you what's going out in the post today. Um, it's Wednesday today, it's the week before Easter and all the sales that I'm showing you today have occurred between Friday at lunchtime and this morning um, at 11 o'clock. So that's five days. We're only doing post one day this week. We've worked it so because it's the, the long weekend coming up so obviously Friday is a bank holiday so there's no post. We kind of, with the really good weather that we're having, we kind of decided to have not a complete week off, but a sort of more lazier week. So we are still listing occasionally, but we're not doing full on work days because we're just taking advantage of the hot weather before it snows next week. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so a little bit about us. I'm Faye, my husband Simon. We're FNS resellers. Find us over on Instagram as well as FNS resellers. We've been reselling for a few years now and we absolutely love it. Like it's just the best thing that we could have done um, career wise. And um, we source from charity shops and auctions with the occasional car boot um, and retail shops, stores, um, it, basically anywhere where we can find something that we think we can make money on, we will we'll, we'll have a go. Um, yeah, we're not sort of, scared of a challenge and um, we're not really particularly put off by any type of niche and uh, we'll try and sell anything so uh, there's bric-a-brac vintage antiques clothes shoes health and beauty electrical um yeah dvds computer games a bit of everything uh, it's been quite a slow week this week uh <clears throat> since well, it was payday weekend really. <clears throat> Last Friday up until today is kind of payday time. And we, a lot of people look forward to payday weekend, a lot of resellers, because they do really well. We have never really noticed an upsurge in sales um, around payday. So I was kind of hoping for a really good weekend <clears throat> and it wasn't that great. We'd sold 51 items for a total of £791 and a penny and that is on eBay and Depop. Um, we also sell on Amazon, but our Amazon business is really quiet at the moment because the way we source for Amazon is usually um, sort of charity shops and they've all been closed. So it's, it, we've been really, really focusing on eBay for the last sort of six months. Uh, so yeah, like some weekends, um, it's been over a thousand and ideally we would have wanted it to have been over a thousand well, more than a thousand because it's actually five days. We don't normally cover it for five days. We have done posts on Tuesday. So um, yeah, 791 pounds is quite low for us for a weekend. So I will show you what breakables we've got first so I can just move them out of the way so they don't get broken. I'm just, I keep looking over there because I've got a mirror against the wall so I can see my phone. Um, because last week I had to do the video twice, which was so annoying um, because my phone just, decided to turn off so I've got the mirror on so I can see that it's still recording <laughs> right um, first things first uh, paperweight this one is recently listed I purchased it as part of a bundle of paperweights um, that I picked up it's not one I would have picked up in the shops it's it's almost like a kid's drawing put into glass it's a bit strange um, and it's going to France. It, I listed it as an art glass paperweight, night sky, stars, crescent moon, blue, yellow, white, and retro. So it does look quite retro to me. Um, always look on the base for a maker's mark or a sticker or engraving of some, some kind, but there's nothing there. So I put that in the description that there's no maker's mark, no signature, and it's just people collect paperweights, all designs. Um, so I. This cost £2.59 as part of a big bundle and it sold for £15.99. I'd like to put the breakables on here. Easter eggs for our niece and nephew. <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't eaten them. Uh, another little breakable that I've got here is this little tiny dish. It is really tiny and it's been listed since October. Uh, it cost £2.13 as part of a glass bundle. Again, this isn't something I'd normally pick up um, sort of on an individual basis. I would leave this behind in a charity shop. It 
So it's been listed since October. We've, we're running a 20% uh, off offer on anything that's listed over five pounds, just because we want to clear out a load of stock so we can paint uh, where we store our stock. We've got a lot of shelves that need painting. Um, so if we can clear a lot of stock down rather than have to move it all around and risk breaking it, that's what we'd rather do. So we've been running a promotion so we can um, do some DIY. So this is a French glass dish. And I know that because it says France on the bottom. Um, oval, it's got like a watercolour paint effect and it's got a star or flower base and it's marked France and it's sold for £5.59. So not a great sale, but it was it, I would have passed this by normally. So I listed it just to see what happened and it sold eventually. And another paperweight we've got here is quite a large paperweight. Um, it's again not got a maker's mark or a signature or anything. It's quite pretty. It's got swirls. Uh, it's, so I listed it as an art glass paperweight, green gold swirls, twists, round, heavy, no maker's mark, and that it's retro. I listed it this month. It cost two pound fifty nine, and it sold for eight pounds. You don't really get much money for um, paperweights that don't have um, a maker's mark or a sticker. Um, if they're just kind of, I mean, a lot of this, this sort of thing can just be made in China en masse these days. But people do still collect them. So when I buy in bulk, I obviously can't choose what paperweights I have. Um, so I just have to deal with what I get. And often there's some like treasures in there and then you're left with ones like this. And they, they need selling. I can't just get rid of them. Um, so yeah, eight quid. Oh, it's really heavy. That one there. And the last breakable is this Emma Bridgewater mug. Um, I actually didn't pay for this, I got this for free. Um, so what I've done is I've listed it with a 100% donation to a charity, which you can do on eBay, you can choose a charity. Um, sometimes the charity you want might not be listed, so I just go for something close. So we've had, um, we've sold charity items before, so we had all the country file calendars that we just sold so quickly in January. And when people buy those directly from the BBC, 10% goes to children in need. So I did the same. All of ours had 10% going to children in need. I had um, a hat, I think I mentioned in a previous video, that was something to do with a Scottish motor neurons disease charity. The charity that it actually related to wasn't an option on eBay, but I chose the closest one, which was a different motor neurons um, charity in Scotland. So still doing my bit. Uh, but because I got this for free, I did a 100% donation to Bliss Cavalier Rescue. Uh, they are a dog rescue charity um, up north. And that's who we adopted our two dogs, Snoopy and Luna, through. We got them both at the same time. And they rescued a load of dogs from Bosnia, actually. And that's where they came from. And they're a great charity and they do so well, but they need so much support. So we do support them where we can. So I listed this as Emma Bridgewater mug, beige, spot, spotty, polka dot, hand decorated, England. Uh, listed it a couple of weeks ago, uh, zero cost, because that didn't cost me anything. And I, it was, oh, I don't think it was on the, oh, it was on a, we did a sale, 20% off. Uh, so we sold it for, no, that's wrong. We didn't run a sale on it. For some reason, it's a funny price. Um, but I did put plus postage on there. So including postage, it sold for £25.82. So £21.87 is going to Bliss Cavalier Rescue, which they really need. Oh, God. Put it. Right, so the breakable's done. Some clothing. This jumper sold on Depop. It's, just got my notes here, it's a free people jumper. Um, mohair, but it's extra small, which wasn't great. Mohair does sell well. Um, this cost £14.45. Um, I had it listed on eBay as well. Cross-listed it to Depop where it sold, so obviously you had to remove it from eBay. And I've had it a few months, I'm surprised, but it's probably due to the size. This finally sold. It's an aqua, can't really see the label, but it's an aqua um beanie hat. List, 
I say it finally sold, although I only listed it in March, it cost 98p. It's not got its tags on it, um, so it's not brand new, it's, it's kind of like new. Um, it sold twice, well, it sort of sold twice, but they never paid. Uh, so third time lucky, uh, the person actually paid. So it's an um, apple sweet and beanie hat, navy blue, knit knitted, one size, 100% merino wool, brand new without tags, um, 98p into £45. Nice little hat flip there. Don't pass hats by in charity shops. Oh yeah, just uh, another Depop sale. This is a um, pretty little thing. Uh, shape, taupe, snake, jersey, scoop, neck, crop top, six pounds. Sold for four pounds 24. Um, pick up a lot of like Depop, no. Pick up, get a lot of Boohoo, pretty little thing in um, clothing bundles. Not something I pick up <clears throat> on its own, so I sort of saw that the sweet spot was around four pounds. So they just, I just want them gone. Something else that came in a big uh, clothing bundle. It's a Daddy Shark T-shirt, men's. Uh, it hadn't listed since October. It cost us one pound twenty-nine and sold for five pounds sixty-nine. Oh yeah, this one. This has only been listed a week or so. It was in um, a box of sort of vintage stuff that I'd left to one side for months and months and months. Just couldn't place listing it. And we've actually sold a couple of things from it now. It's a large shell dish, ashtray, decorative tray, possibly silver plate with decorative feet. Um, it's pretty tarnished, which I mentioned. And obviously you can see that in the photos. It cost 97p and I took an offer of £10. Some more silver play, these were just odds and sods left over. There's a trophy, part of a picture frame, it's really hard to see, and an egg cup. I've put them on auction. They're silver plate, possibly, well, one of them is silver plate. Uh, it's a triple deposit mapping and web silver plate trophy, and then an egg cup and mini frame, which is possibly silver plate. But this bundle together cost me 97p. And it put it on 99p auction thinking if it is really worth anything, people will pay for it. And they didn't, well, not really. It was sold for £1.20 plus post. Good sale here. An Adidas golfing men's polo shirt. Um, it's an Ultimate 365 gradient block stripe polo shirt. It cost £10.97 as part of a big, big bundle back in February and it sold for £27.41. Took an offer on it. Not such a great um, sale is this jacket. It's a Rohan Atlas travel jacket. The problem is it's an extra small um, and it's got the hood missing. It cost £7.99 as part of a clothing bundle in October and it sold for £7.50. Woo. I had that cross listed to Vinted. Had a lot of people liking it or favouriting it, um, but I would send offers out to people and they'd say, oh no, for the cost of it plus postage, I could get, put that towards a new one. So why have you favourited my item then? It's a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, glad it's gone. Um, a good sale here is this Iron Maiden football shirt, 2020. And it's up the irons, West Ham. It's brand new without tags. It cost £7.29 in February and it sold for £37.99. Knickers always do well. Uh, I buy um, underwear, sort of accessories in bulk. And this is a pair of Marks and Spencer's rosy silk and lace high leg knickers, uh, size 12. As you can see, it's still got the hanger, the tags here. Cost £1.76 listed this month and sold for £9.99. Really easy to post, just pop in a poly, it'll go large letter. Nice and easy. Um, this is a sports bra that I had cross listed to Depop, I think. And it's not on my list. Oh, here it is. Um, the brand is Tiki Boo, it's a sports bra, it's a small, it came as part of a big, big bundle. I don't tend to pick up small sizes otherwise. Um, it's yeah, like a yoga top, it cost £1.93, listed it in December, uh, had it cross-listed to Depop, 
but it sold on eBay for £12.50. Something else I had cross-listed, this one was cross-listed to Vinted. Um, it's a, um, a Jules hammer top, so most Jules um, tops or clothing items have names so you can find the information about the item online. Um, it's a Hannah Top UK 14 and it cost £6.50 in November as part of a clothing bundle and it, I just took an offer of 13 because I wanted it gone. Another top that's been hanging around for ages is this Topshop top. I don't ever pick up Topshop. Uh, it's Topshop Lager Look top, UK 16, loose fitting, longer back, lightweight, plus size. Uh, cost £2.50 in July. I guess that was part of a clothing bundle because I don't think we would have picked it up in a charity shop. And took an offer of 9 99 That was cross-listed to Vinted and Depop. So it sold on eBay, so I removed it from the other website. Uh, this is a wallet. This came in an accessory um, bundle. Like When we buy bundles, there can be over 100 things in there. And often I'll like sort of know kind of what niche I'm bidding on. Well, I will, so it could be underwear, but it will say like underwear or men's and women's accessories, belts, hats, gloves, scarves, and sometimes there's some other bits and bobs in there. And there was this wallet, it's dense and it's pebble grain leather bifold wallet. And um, it's brand new in its box, cost £2.82, it listed it in January, and there was a promotion on it because uh, we're trying to clear everything out and it sold for £10.39. These um, are at Costco. They come in like a big cardboard sort of packaging, um, but I've seen them in Costco and we've got another one for sale as well. So they're not worth that much money. Costco don't sell them for much either. Um, some men's beauty is hair stuff. It's American Crew, matte clay, medium high hold. Um, it's brand new, unopened tub. It cost a pound in February as part of um, a sort of healthcare bundle, and it sold for eleven ninety nine. These have been listed for ages, but the market is saturated with these. These came in a homeware bundle. Um, they're beeswax wraps. So this is one designed for bread. Uh, because it says it on it and it says the size which is 17 by 23 inch it's single sheet reusable sustainable food storage new cost a pound in october as part of the homeware bundle that i got and it finally sold for 8.99 but there's so many of these about now i think we have one left or well, we had two i i don't know if the other one's sold yet uh poncho would never really pick up ponchos unless it was something really fancy or cashmere. Uh, so this came in a big clothing bundle. The brand is Voulez Vu, which I've never heard of. Um, medium, large, grey, zigzag tassels, brand new without tags, cost £1.29 and we sold it for £6.44 on eBay. Uh, I removed it from e uh, Depop and Vinted. Um, yeah, so knitted stuff does take up quite a lot of room so that is one thing i'm focused on getting rid of and um, so we can get all our decorating sorted this was a good sale this is a cycling jacket this was part of a big clothing bundle that we picked up and um, i had never heard of this brand before and i would have probably passed this by um in a charity shop because the size is small uh, it has well, it hasn't been hanging around long. Listed it in February, so not long. Um, it's an Endura Windchill Cycling Jacket Small. It's uh, waterproof and thermal. It's brand new with tags. Cost us £7.29 in February and sold it for £60. <laughs> a shoe stretcher, just one. Uh, this came in a shoe bundle. Uh, it's a men's size 9 to 10 and a half, wooden extendable length and width, cost £7.83 in March. It's I've shown you some of the shoes we've sold from this bundle actually. The other Stan Smith trainers, um, some Converse, which we did we've made good money on. Um, I think there were slippers as well, uh, but this was just in there um, and I sold it for £9.99. Good to get a couple of well pound back than um, not. 
another fast fashion item, which I, you probably get bored of me saying it, but I hate saying it. Uh, it's a Boohoo Zymonte belt, and it's kind of sparkle shimmery, brand new tags. Cost one ninety three in December as part of an accessories bundle, and I took an offer of five fifty on it. I had it on Depop as well, but it sold on eBay. And I said tend to find the biting point for sort of fast fashion items at around four pounds, so that surprised me at five pound fifty. Uh, drinks bottles and uh, bottles can do really really well we bought we've bought two job lots of sort of water bottles now and you get all sort of mixed brands in there uh in my last video you'd have seen me oh i think it was the last or the one before that um there was a load left over that i didn't want to sell individually so i just listed them as a job lot bundle of um bottles and um so this was out of that so it's a duronic 600 cr um, clear 600 ml BPA free infuser bottle cost a pound as part of a, a job lot in August and it sold for £6.39 that's because we were lowering the prices so we don't if we when we list the prices don't stick around at the original price for so for long we do reduce prices um, regularly to shift stock um, I don't know what these are I wonder if I picked them up by mistake. Bet I did. So these should be Grand National playing cards. They're not. I picked them out of the card box when I was picking last night. Um, so we'll pretend they're the Grand National um, playing cards. Uh, you've seen them in other videos. We've sold about six or seven packs now. Uh, brand new and sealed. And they cost £1.55 a pack. And this one sold for £10. And we've got three left. So I need to leave that out to one side so I can get the right one. Because Simon packs them all. Uh, Primark bra. I don't think we've got any Primark bras left now. Uh, we had a load in a recent um, underwear haul that we bought. And... Get there in a sec. Primark. Primark Secret Possessions Bra, 34C, black lace, padded cups, brand new tags. Cost $1.76 in March, so this month, and sold for $8.99. I've no idea how much bras cost in Primark, but just a couple of quid back. This is a funny one. I could have easily got rid of this um, in a job lot, but I thought, no, I'll list it. Uh, they're hip hop grills, pretend gold teeth, mouth bling, cosplay, fancy dress, costume, brand new, in seal packaging, cost 59p and sold for £5.49. We actually, in our um, storage area, we so we uh, store everything in plastic tubs. So we have like men's tops, women's tops, um, sportswear, loungewear, bras, knickers, and we have fancy dress, and that was in fancy dress. This wasn't a great sale, I don't think. Oh, I feel like I've got hair tickling me. Um, Silverline Healthy Foot Powder. Oh, wasn't too bad. Mm, they cost 50p a bottle as part of a big healthcare bundle. I just put them together. Uh, they're for Sweat Athletes Foot. They're made in the UK. Uh, they cost 50p a bottle, so there's £2 there. Listed them in February, sold for £10.99. You don't really want powders and things hanging around too long because they can go bad. Um, some dog collars ages ago, and I mean ages ago, uh, God, I can't even remember when now. We bought a load of dog collars, there must have been over a hundred um, at auction, and they're really good. Um, they cost 12p each, I think, and we we're down to our last few. There was all different sizes. But they're, the brand is Gardman Explorer, and they're really robust. I'll put, I'll put these on my dog, but they're a bit big. Um, and we sold two to the same person for £5.42. So 12p each isn't bad. Easy to post. Uh, a scarf. This one is a next scarf. It's camouflage, green, beige, gold, frayed edges, shimmer sparkle, brand new with tags. Cost £1.93 in December and I took an offer of £5 to get it gone. I thought it would have sold 
uh, in December because uh, it's brand new in Christmas, but it didn't. And I want to get rid of we've got quite a few scarves still, so I want them gone. And uh, a pair of shoes. I don't think I'll ever pick up Costa shoes again. I think they're they're done to death. Uh, they're Hotter Cruise wedges, UK seven and a half, um, open toe. They have never been worn. They cost five pound in June. Would have got them from a charity shop. Um, took an offer of fourteen just, just to see the back of them really. That's one side. Okay. Um, next, some um, the correct playing cards. These are, oh, these were in a toy bundle that Simon got um, not that long ago, actually, from the auction. They're BTS, Bangtan Boys, K-pop, so Korean pop. Very, very popular. Um, Dynamite Lomo cards. And they cost £1.55 uh, in March, and he sold them for £9.99. I'll have to get that in a minute. Now... I'll show you these. <laughs> these are just some car air fresheners that were in a healthcare bundle randomly. They're emojis. So there's six in total, three poo emojis and three purple smiling face with horns emojis. They cost £4.49 and I sold them for £4. <laughs> money back though, money back. Uh, this is one of Simon's Blu-rays. No, PS4. You got a load of computer games. This one cost £8.73 as part of a big bundle in January. He has done really well out of these, uh, even though the cost price per item was high. Uh, it's Watch Dogs Legion PS4. It's sealed, but there's a loose disc inside. That's why it says loose disc on it. And it sold for £20. Another computer game is Flight Simulator X Gold Edition. And this cost 50p, I think, and it sold for £19.49, and it's used. Another one, Command & Conquer. Uh, General's Deluxe Edition, we've sold loads of Command & Conquer games now. Um, this cost a pound in February, and he sold it for £11. We also sold a DVD that cost about 50p. We sold that on eBay. For £10. I haven't got it here, it's because it was in stock in Amazon. So we cross list our Amazon um, to eBay, and if it sells on eBay, it gets dispatched automatically from Amazon. Uh, really recommend doing that if you sell on Amazon as well. If, give us a shout if you want to know more about it. Um, <clears throat> that was a good one. And if I, oh yeah, I've got something else. That's a bit weird. Okay. Um, some DVDs sold. These are down as a cost price of zero. I think they were just left out of a bundle that Simon was just going to redonate, um, but he decided to list them. It's the West Wing Complete Series 1, 2, and 3. Now, there's, I think, there's at least five series of um, West Wing. So, normally, when selling box sets, you might get excited if you see a box set that's like 1 to 5, but if you realise that there's then 15 series um, that have been made, your one to five might not be worth much because people will buy the the full the full set. Um, but these sold for twelve pound fifty three, so it doesn't count all the time, but it is worth checking. Uh, right, <laughs> next one's quite funny. Um, we ended up with a load of crotchless women's tights um, out of a big bundle that we picked up at some point, and I listed them. Over the weekend, I think it was, and they sold on the same day, funnily enough. Uh, so it's 33 black sealed um, crotchless tights. They're one size, and I don't even know what that size is. And they're all sealed in individual little bags, <clears throat> unbranded. So <clears throat> someone called James bought those, along with these Centelegri Classic Hold Ups Extra Large Red 20, -year, 20 Denier Lace Tops, brand new in packaging. So for, they cost £1.76. These cost pence and he bought both for £22.49. So that's good. I'll put those in there. <clears throat> oh, 
think Simon mentioned this next one in a video, or I know he did, I don't know if the video is out yet. Um, it's a Roberts radio that we picked up from auction, but the, it's a pink one, it's really nice. But the leather has perished on part of it, and um, it works on batteries only. If you plug it in, it sort of cuts out. So Simon tested it, it cost £10.49, and we sold it for £45. So if it was like in perfect condition, working with the cable, we'd have got more for it. But £10 into 45 and it doesn't even work 100% and it's falling apart, it's very good. Um, and something else that sold within sort of 24 hours of listing it, this had been sitting around in the um, barn for ages, um, was this Lego. Now it's Lego Bionicle. It's a couple of sort of pickups in here. I picked some up locally on sort of Facebook. I think I paid a fiver for a load of it. And then there's a couple of sets that we were waiting to get extra pieces for that we were just fed up of seeing. So we bundled it all in together. It couldn't have cost more than sort of 20 quid. Um, and we sold it really quickly for £66.49. So really pleased with that. We are bundling so much stuff together now. Um, I, with the Lego, I weighed it, by the way. So I put the weight in the listing. It came with loads of um, sort of instruction books, but I didn't weigh those. I just weighed the Lego and it was 2.6 kilos, I think. And I made it really clear in the listing that the 2.6 kilos was Lego only, didn't include the weight of the books. So that's, although they're included, that, that I didn't weigh those. Um, so yeah, we've been selling a lot of bundles and job lots lately of sort of stock that's been hanging around a while that we don't want to list, stuff we're sick of seeing the sight of, um, and just we just want to make room because our spare room was had a lot of stuff in it and we just want to make it into a spare room again. So um, I've put together a few and I've got 19 left to do, which I want to get done by the 12th of April because that's when we want all of our stock listed. Um, so this one, well, this person actually bought two of the bus. So this one here is a job lot of 32 household, kitchen, craft, party, cooking, baking items. It's all brand new. And then I put car boot in the title because I thought it's ideal for a car booter or market store holder. It costs £4.49 and, um, I'll tell you what I sold them both for in a minute, but it can, comes with there's balloons, there's sponges, there's um, like uh, pastry cutters, coasters, um, little oh salt and pepper shakers. So they bought that one, and then they also bought this one, which is a drop lot of twenty five household kitchen kids health beauty fidget items. And this also cost four forty nine, and it's got I don't even know what half of it was. Uh, it's like an LED light to put on your book. There's glow in the dark stars, um, fidget toys, just random. So they bought those two for twenty four ninety eight. Oh, this is what I was looking for. This is mine. This is um, sold on our, uh, Simon's personal eBay because it was mine. It's um, a Ralph Lauren um, hoodie and it sold for £13.49. Just mine, sitting around for ages. I haven't worn it for a very long time. Um, one of the things we've done in the past week with our job lots, we bought a load of sort of suction bags off of eBay or Amazon. And we're storing our, once our job lots are listed, we're putting, only clothing ones, we're putting them in the suction bags so they're easier to store upstairs. So this next one is a job lot of women's clothes, French Connection top, um, oh sorry, French Connection top shop jeans, denim short dungarees, nothing particularly special in there. Um, it cost four forty nine, and we sold it for twenty two forty nine. So we'll take it out of the suction bag and reuse that, and we'll just bundle it in a box and send it via UPS. And then we've got another one. 
Job lot of socks, 56, brand new, multi-packs, men's, women's, sports, everyday socks, trainer socks. And uh, this cost $4.49 and we are we sold it for $24.99. And they're all brand new. Everything in there is brand new. All of it. So there's 56 pair or it's not 56 pairs, so if there's a multi-pack of five pairs, I counted that as one. So they're getting way more than 56 pairs of socks. And that they, they bought them for like 50p a pack, probably less. And that'll go UPS. And they stack really well that way when they're in the um, suction bags. They're called suction bags, that's what I call them. Oh, a random scarf fell on the floor. Not great. Uh, floral scarf, head scarf, green beige, chiffon hair, ribbon, hippie, boho chic, brand new without tags. It was one ninety three in November and took an offer of four pounds twenty to get it gone. And then this one. This one is hmm, jumpers. Why can't I find this one? This isn't good. Um, I don't know why this one's here. I don't think we've sold this, but Simon's got it out anyway. Hmm, okay. <laughs> but it's, that's got 17 jumpers and cardigans in it. So when it sells, I'll show you. Um, and then the last three things are my random beauty boxes. So they're like mystery boxes. I mentioned them in sort of the last four or five videos. I started off with a big like supermarket crate piled high of just random beauty bits and bobs. So it could be hair, health, makeup, nails. And I thought I can't I can't list those individually, there's not enough money in it. And if I do bundles, each bundle's gonna be different, it's gonna take me ages. So I'm just gonna do mystery box. A mystery box isn't allowed on eBay, you have to call it something different. So mine is called, or mine are called bulk wholesale. Mixed makeup, pampering items, random selection, job lot, all new. I've done really well. I've gone, I sorted it out last night. So after I picked the three that have sold over the weekend, I've gone from a huge supermarket crate to like a shoe box. Um, so I haven't got many left. Um, I sold, so I've got three different variations. I've got the large one, which includes 20 items, which costs 14 99 And then I've got the smaller one, um, which costs, four pound plus post where you get six items the middle one um isn't hasn't sold any which is fine it was kind of um, a sort of split test exercise um but i'm really really pleased so the person that's bought the six the six item one is receiving some fashion eyelashes seductive eyes 100 percent handmade eyelashes a nail file a pack of Rebelli Beauty Face Hot Mask Sheets. A Plump Lip Maximizer Kiss Beauty. Uh, an eyeliner pencil. And a Poudier Matte Liquid Lipstick. And then this was just in there as well. It says, thank you, a little gift for you. And it's like a sort of lavender bag that you put in your drawer to make pants so nice <laughs> so i'll pop those back in there and then i'll seal the bag with a sort of purple thank you sticker and then it just goes in a little box and off it goes in the post but the bigger ones um they go in a white box wrapped in tissue paper with a thank you sticker um oh my god got stuck. so some of the packaging is squashed that's how i got it um, but this person is getting 20 items, including this unique comb thing. It apparently make, gives you quiffs and stuff. And they're also getting a 
pineapple coconut vanilla scentsy soap sample some fake eyelashes some lavender oil absorbing oil absorbing paper a mentos lip balm and bear in mind they pay 14.99 for this a nail file a nose clip anti-snore device eyebrow cream some herbal massage oil two little makeup sponges facial patches wrinkle remover strips a digital thermometer with autom automatic alarm a makeup brush cleaner which you suction to your sink and rub your lip makeup brushes on a hair scrunchie a career hyaluronic acid serum some 100 alcohol pads A whitening cream, Buclem Curls Redefined Intensive Moisture Treatment, Tisserand Aromatherapy Real Calm Mood Fix Mist, Elite Professional Definition Styling Comb, and I just popped in there Good Girl Carolina Herrera Perfume Sample as an extra. So for $14.99, even if they think half of it's rubbish, they've got some all right stuff. They've got some serum, they've got some aromatherapy spray, they've got a lip balm, bath salts. Um, so yeah, I, I never know if people are buying it to keep to themselves, buying to sell on, um, who knows? But I've had really, really good feedback for these random beauty boxes and also our clothing bundles really really good feedback and it says one more this is another 20 item one so they've got these natural warm working warm knee stickers some more fake eyelashes random hair bonnets i don't know if they're like shower caps or what some powder puff makeup sponges, a Belle lactobionic acid, a body shop facial brush, don't know what this is, no idea what this is, lip balm I think, or lip gloss. Pepsi Wild Cherry Lip Balm, a little hairbrush, eyelash curlers, uh, nail varnish remover, some Silk Intimate for vaginal dryness wipes, uh, flower blusher. I don't know, this is sort of like glitter for your face, I think. Like fancy dress. Then they've got um, like quite a big uh, eyeshadow palette. Philip Kingsley Bodybuilding Shampoo. A mirror with German writing on it. Some clear white um, nail colour. Oh, there's another one there. I'll maybe change that so they can get two of the same thing. And magnetic eyeliner. And they've also got um, a little perfume samples and extra, which is Flower Bomb. So yeah, that is everything. That's everything that's going out today. Uh, it's, the stuff that is going out is giving us lots of space because it takes up a lot of room but we would have liked more sales, I have to say. Um, but they'll pick up, we'll list more, we'll do price changes, we'll tweak titles, we'll do item specifics, 
we're always working on our existing listings um, to make them attractive. We don't just list and leave them. Um, we work all the time at trying to shift stock. Um, so there's always, it's not a case of listing and then just leaving it to sell. There's a lot of work involved. Um, so we don't all just sit back and put our feet up, although we are this week. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, and feel free to comment or send us a message over on Instagram. And we will be back in the next few days with another video. So have a great day, have a great Easter, and um, here's to lots of sales for everyone. See you later, bye.